Good morning, Cheryl. Hi. Uh, let's get right into your attic here. And first thing I want to talk about is your hatch. And we discussed that a little bit. And I want to show you how we would treat that to make sure that it's um, up for the challenge in terms of protecting you from the heat and the cold. So you can see what Ivan is doing here. He's taking the foam board, the rigid foam board, and taking this particular house's hatch and um, measuring everything and cutting the pieces and taping them together and then affixing it to the original panel so that when um, weather stripping is applied and it's placed back into the ceiling, it creates a, a better seal. So the weight of that insulation and that weather stripping makes it a little bit more airtight and insulates better for you. So let's take a look here and um, I wanted you to get your bearings a little bit as I make my way up into your attic. And I think the first thing here I wanted to show you, you'll sort of get your bearings by seeing that the silver uh, duct, the flex duct, is running from your hallway bathroom. And if you notice the insulation in that particular area, as I do get my footing here, you can see that it's missing. And interestingly, I happen to take a few photographs from below and then the infrared, and you can really tell, you know, that's a hot spot. And you can really see that even having any type of insulation in place is better than having no insulation at all. So again, I just want you to sort of get your bearings as I make my way towards your master bathroom area. And you'll see that in a few places, the insulation is just lifted. It's not in great contact with the surface. Um, there's just a few things going on here that, you know, leave a little bit to be desired. And as I start to make my way towards your master, Again, you just kind of see how the insulation is pulled up ever so slightly. It's bunched up in places. And, you know, the best insulation is going to be the insulation that's in good contact with the surface. So now getting into your master bathroom, this is that, as you described it, which I love, that pocket where, let me get back over, where you can see that the insulation was, you know, draped over top, over the trusses, over the suspend, over the um the structure and how it fell down, I think, presumably when maybe the bathwork was on or possibly before, but you just kind of notice. And as you peer down there, I want you to take a note of your bath fan and that white uh, plumbing pipe. And those are all penetrations through the attic floor that it's just a good example of how we would air seal. So when you see this next little clip, it's a house similar to yours where the insulation was draped so it gave us a clear canvas and you can see how we air seal a knee wall how we air seal electrical we air seal around those bath fans any type of hole running through what we call the top plate which is the top of the wall and then as we jump back to your bathroom i kind of duck my head down and peer over to my left and that is that back wall facing that back bedroom and i took an infrared of that as well and you can see where there are a couple hot spots there so not having insulation in those spots is of course you know costing you so how do we treat it well this is another home and what we do is we get down into those dirty areas and we seal it up with the foam as you saw in the previous video and then the guys you know take insulation and they apply it to the knee wall and they make sure that it's in those bays really well make sure that it's cut to size that it's covering and in contact with the surface of the drywall for that final step which is the air barrier and you can see how we wrap everything nice and snug and we make sure it's nice and tight and then the insulation isn't going anywhere so this is an example of a finished knee wall in an attic similar to yours so as we kind of make our way back over towards your hall uh, master closet and the skylight i wanted you just to take a look here at the master bathroom duct and how it's kinked up 
and how, you know, you've seen in a couple of the shots where it, it probably could run a little straighter to get that air flowing a little better for you. And you also notice just a few areas here, as like I said before, making my way over towards the skylight, that insulation is missing in a few places or it's been bunched off. That's general vicinity of your master closet area. And I was getting a little hot, wanted to try to find it, but you'll see I took a infrared, you know, kind of shows that it's a hot spot. So let's get into your skylight and you'll see that this is the condition that I found it in. And that just basically means that the insulation is not really in good contact with that wall. And you kind of see from the attic side how the drywall sort of runs up through the attic and creates another knee wall similar to the others we were looking at but in sort of a different way and then you'll notice on that one side where the insulation is really coming off the side and this could be related to the work that was done it could just have been you know over time and just gravity um we'll talk a little bit about your chimney as well but i took an infrared uh, this is before i ran the blower door and you can see that that side wall over there is 104 degrees and, and that's you know um a hot spot we want to just make sure that we button that area up and i have a, a shot coming up here of exactly how we treat a skylight which is very similar to what you saw in the how we treat the um, knee walls and you'll see here that insulation it was tough to get it to stay so you see a buttoned up skylight similar to yours and it's wrapped and insulated and air sealed uh, it's snug as a bug in a row so i wanted to give you a chance to see your roof sheeting i took a couple videos there that's that area right above your bed and i tried to slow it down here and you can of course rewind it as many times as needed but it looked okay to me and then i just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like in an attic similar to yours before and after and once the knee walls are done and all the air sealing at the floors are done at the attics uh, areas then we would of course blow in cellulose loose fill and get it up to r49 at the flats and on those sloped areas we want to be at r38 so you can really see the difference once the attic is insulated thank you so much for watching cheryl